Delhi, it's not only India that is facing a complicated situation. Most nations friendly to the U.S. are also stuck in indecision, confusion and fear. But at the end of it, it all boils down to two players. Killing Qasem Soleimani has brought Iranians together in the anger against the U.S. But President Trump is not one to sit back. He has already issued serious threats. So how far can America go? How far can the U.S. president go? Is he willing to wage a war with Iran? Or is this all an election stunt? And what impact would it have on the allies of the U.S.? On We On Edit, we explore all these questions. The Persian Gulf is in a very sensitive situation as of now. The Pentagon has already dispatched 4,000 soldier brigade to West Asia. The soldiers are quoted as saying that they are going to war. U.S. warships are headed towards the Persian Gulf. All this to protect Iran's proxy attacks against U.S. bases. But Iraq parliament has voted to send out the U.S. troops and the U.S. in turn has threatened Baghdad with sanctions. The next few days are going to be extremely tricky. Donald Trump is clearly unpredictable. The U.S. president does not bother about the Congress or the allies. Crucial decisions are taken merely on the basis of instinct. And this has put the allies of the U.S. in serious crisis. The allies want the U.S. to maintain restraint. Britain, France, Germany and Saudi Arabia have all asked Washington to calm down. Some allies like Israel and the NATO have clarified that they had no rule in the killing of Qasem Soleimani. Russia and to some extent China have sided with Iran and the Iran nuclear deal looks dead. Germany and France spoke about saving the deal and easing American sanctions before Qasem Soleimani's killing. And now they are calling for de-escalation. Clearly, the European Union countries have no options. If the U.S.-Iran tensions escalate, they have only one choice, that is to side with the U.S. And then comes the complication for friendly countries to both U.S. and Iran, like India and Japan. Soleimani's killing has brought the entire region to the edge. Donald Trump's unilateral decision to kill him has created an environment of fear and distrust. An all-out war looks unlikely, but the U.S. and its allies' installations could be targeted in the coming days. As per reports, many experts have also commented on that possibility. Simmering tensions in West Asia could come to a boil. And if they do, it's bad news for everyone involved. An unpredictable, instinctive decision-maker in Donald Trump on one side and a country, Iran, seeking revenge on the other. The situation is extremely sensitive in West Asia.